Mr. Wilson has said again and again that he is more interested in results than in ringing declarations. But the British government has made ringing declarations in support of the United States, in support of the American positions and its theses and its lies and its bombings. We live in a social order which I believe is profoundly undemocratic. Conglomerates whose decisions affect workers, consumers, the city, the region, the country, and the whole world. I first met him as a student at the London School of Economics. Oh, you must come up and hear these lectures on the third floor. They're by this guy called Miliband. And I sat there through some of those lectures and said, yes, this is it. There was no question about setting up a party to oppose the Labour Party. He was always shocked and amused by the extent to which British socialists deferred to Parliament, to the Crown, to the whole sort of establishment. This is, I think, one reason why he was so impressed by Tony Benn, you know, who turned his back on the peerage. One could say that the Gulf War was really a continuation of the US policy ever since 1945 to prevent countries from uh, doing things which contravene what the Americans thought to be their, in their interest. Who's my battle with? The Sunday sport. Ed Miliband's dad killed my kitten. Only a Belgian, a Belgian communist, could have killed a kitten in cold blood like that, the red bastard. His perspective politically was very much that of a Marxist. He was a supporter of Marxist ideology. Analyzing British politics is not hating your country, surely. Britain saved his life. It saved his life. When he fled the horror of Nazi barbarism, he of course famously went to Karl Marx's grave in Highgate Cemetery and clenched his fist and uh, pledged to dedicate his life to the working class and to the struggle of the labour movement. Daily Mail, we hate you and your Tory bosses too. And this paper is saying that, that he hated Britain. <laughs> and that is a lie. That is a lie. And, and I'm not willing to, to, to let it stand. Yeah.